what makes it really special and distinguished among the other denominations that we still practice the language of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and their wives, as much as it was also practiced by our Lord Jesus 20, 17 years ago. So he keep, you know, he's telling me, George, to say something, to teach you some or few Aramaic words that are spoken in the mouth of Jesus. Right now, you know, I'm not going to end it up because I've got something to explain about St. George. But you know what? On the eighth day, following the birth of Jesus, what happened? I know you're so exhausted. <laughs> the nun asked can answer day, us. Yeah. On the eighth day, the Holy Family took you know, Jesus to the temple in order to circumcise him and in order to call him. He was called Jesus. And that's an English version. But in Aramaic, it was totally different. Which says, Hayashua HaMashiach. It's Hayashua HaMashiach. Which translates as the anointed life giver. That's Aramite? That's Aramite. Say it again and say it in Hebrew. It's Hayashua HaMashiach. Yeshua HaMashiach. It's almost the same. The anointed life giver. So this is one of the things. But remember when he cried out on the cross, the last thing he said on the cross is done. But before that he cried out, Abba, Abba, Lama Azutani. God, my God, why do you have forsaken me? It's derived from one of those verses spoken at the mouth of King David at the book of Psalms. Say it again in Aramite, I'll say it in Hebrew. Abba, yeah, Abba. It's Abba, Abba, Lama Shabbatani. Abba, Lama Azavtani. Almost yeah, the same. It's almost the same. Okay? So before we continue, St. George mistakenly is 